Hello and welcome to my video of my mid 1980s Herobo Zerda four wheel drive buggy. Um, this is an old favourite from as long back as I can remember. Um, and uh, these old pipe frame buggy cars certainly do have and uh, collect a certain kind of audience uh, amongst the vintage uh, collector community. And the Zerda is one that does, does not disappoint. Um, where do I start? Well, this car is actually going to be uh, my track racer, so it has been run plenty of times and modified. Uh, and I just thought I'd take you for a bit of a brief walk through the car and uh, show you what's been done that is not the standard car. So, with uh, no further ado, uh, the, the greatest modification made to this car is the uh, mid motor placement. So. I fabricated my own motor plate. I guess it's pretty agricultural, but it does the job. Um, from where the motor used to be in the rear has now been modified to sit on the front side of that lay shaft. And rather than have the, uh, all of the uh, pinion belt drive assembly over on this side of the transmission, it's now been switched over to the other. So yeah, there we are. So I'm running a 48 pitch spur, uh, running on top of, um, of all things, it's a some kind of a Yokomo uh, lay shaft hub to accommodate spur gears. Uh, so I can run between 32, 48 and 64 pitch spur gears if I want to. And um, I'm told that this is a very efficient way of running the car. So I'm very excited to see how it goes out on the track. Okay, uh, aside from that, well, you know, I do like to try and run everything vintage, but when you go to these meetings, uh, nobody's running 1200 milliamp hour NICADs, so I can assure you of that. So um, for the purpose of this car, I'm just running a shorty LiPo uh, two cell. Uh, and as you can see, the front suspension looks very really different uh, from the original standard type. So I've actually fabricated up this front brace section here. Uh, and I've made taller towers and I'm running AYK boost long rear shocks um, both at the front of this car and at the rear of this car. Um, I've beefed up that rear shock tower, the stock shock tower, just with an extra piece of uh, black fiberglass and um, yeah, it certainly stiffens things up a little bit. So it was uh, previously very flimsy uh, now it's very pl plush and uh, it's got lots of uh, droop and ride height adjustment. Um, yeah, so uh, as for the wheels, uh, these are some Condor um, gold-plated wheels from back in the 80s. Uh, they could be bought for different sorts of cars. These have a hex drive system built in. Um, and, uh, oops, I better switch this thing off. Um, I'm running um, some late model uh, alloy front hubs in this and I've got hex drive um, axles on the end to carry the wheels. So most likely for the track duties, it'll be running 2.2 inch uh, hex drive rims, you know, with current sort of tires. And um, what else has been going on with this car? So yeah, I've got the front suspension here has been done. Uh, the rear's been beefed up. We've got the mid motor uh, into the, for the transmission. Um, gone are the original number plates. I've actually made up some uh, Lexan number plates that fit into the profile of this rear cage. It's just something I wanted to do. I thought it looked cool and uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, so aside from that, I might give it a bit of a quick run up on the stand. So if you just give me a second. I'm going to my uh, KO Helios radio system, sporting uh, 2.4 module, and uh, here we go. She's on. You're seeing through the rear here where the motor used to be, you've got the rear geared diff running on a belt, uh, belt, main belt that runs up to the front of the car. 
Yeah, so there it was. The year was 1985, I would say. And uh, that's my Zerta race car. So thank you very much for watching. And um, if these little videos interest you, you're welcome to please subscribe, share, and uh, like my videos. And uh, yeah, you, hopefully I'll have some more for you soon. Thank you.